In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for nitrogen, that's N, on the periodic table. And the first thing we need is the electron configuration for nitrogen, so we can use that to do the atomic orbital diagram. So let's do the electron configuration for nitrogen. Nitrogen has an atomic number of seven, so that means it has seven protons. And since all these elements on the periodic table are neutral, it has seven electrons as well. So we're working with seven electrons, and nitrogen, it's right here on the periodic table. So we start out, we start out the first energy level. We have 1s1, we come over here to 1s2. So 1s2, and that's full. So we go over to 2s, we have 2s1, 2s2. And then we go across here, and we're in the p block, 2p1, 2, and 3. So 2p3, and we're at nitrogen, and we've used 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3. That's those seven electrons we had to write the configuration. So we can use this information now to write the atomic orbital diagram for nitrogen. So we have our electron configuration. This is the atomic orbital diagram. And these are just ways to represent where those electrons are around the nucleus. So you can imagine the nucleus is right here. And we have these energy levels. Think of them as shells. And they're around the nucleus. And that's what we're describing here. So let's start out, we have 1s2, so in the 1s we put our two electrons in opposite directions. 2s2, we have two there, and then for the 2p3 we have 1, 2, 3, we spread them out. And this is the atomic orbital diagram for nitrogen. Sometimes you'll see it written like this here. It's the same thing, this is just in a more horizontal fashion. So we have 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p3. And that's another way we can represent where those electrons are around the nucleus of the nitrogen atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for nitrogen. Thanks for watching.